Hey guys, welcome to another Pokemon Me walkthrough. Um, unfortunately, I did record a video after the Lush Jungle and due to technical difficulties, it got deleted again, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but after the Lush Jungle, we made our way all the way down here to the Pokemon Dimension research. So this is where we went to and we spoke to the professor, we spoke to a lot of people, we spoke to Lily um, and they were talking about the uh, ultra wormholes. So it's a shame that uh, that video got deleted but in all honesty it wasn't too much, it was just a lot of dialect uh, and we made our way through to Diglett's cave. So this is Diglett's cave right here. Uh, we did encounter Team Skull uh, and we fought them. And this is Olivia, so we did meet Olivia, who is the island kahuna. So I'm um, really, I do apologize for that. So let's go and make our way through Diglett's cave again. So I might make the videos a little shorter, maybe between 10 to 15 minutes, just so I don't run that risk of them getting deleted again. Uh, looks like my Phoebus is gonna go down, but that's perfectly fine. I don't really care at this stage. So let's make our way through Diglett's cave. There were a few items here. We did a few uh, trainer battles. It is, it's actually rather frustrating, I must admit. So we did uh, meet how we battled Team Sky, as I said. So we made it down here to Route 9, uh, and that was the police officer reversed. So this is pretty much where I was up to, the Connie Connie Island, I think it is. So, sorry, uh, Connie Connie City, and what I did, I actually went here. And I bought a few TMs, so you can see I bought Venushock, I bought Low Sweep, Shadow Claw, and Dragon Tail. I did teach my Dark Tricks the Shadow Claw, and I replaced it with the uh, Workup. So let's go in here now. This is a clothes shop, I think. And let's see what clothes there are available. So I don't have any money, but I just want to see what's available. Okay, so we'll forget about that for now. I'll come back when I have a bit more money. So let's go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Uh, my Pokemon are pretty much exhausted. To be honest, I'm exhausted too from all these uh, difficulties I've been having, technically, obviously, so it's very frustrating, but anyway, let's go. I don't want to keep talking about it. So I'm just going to quickly talk to everyone, like I always do, maybe they'll give me an item. No, I don't want any jobs, to be honest. Thank you very much. What about you? Alright, so, well, look, it's time to start going. I, I really don't want to. There's a ton of people to talk to. So... So 
So I guess I gotta go in here now. So we have a prover pass. And it's hiding a letter, you take the letter and read it. Rob, Olivia here, this is Prover Boss. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's a, been a change of plans. Come meet me at the Ruins of Life Pass Memorial when you can. He gave us some max potion. Alright, so we gotta go to that memorial uh, hill. And I'm just gonna explore here a bit more before I go there. Let's just quickly go explore up here and we have a Priya of Pikachu's and a Zygarde cell. So Cena wants to talk to you. You've collected 10% so far. I'd like to know what this number means. Please come to the Ether Base on Route 16 on all. Okay, that's way ahead of us, so we're nowhere near there right now. So I obtained, uh, obtained a Picani MZ, which is I guess a Z crystal for Pikachu solely. And there's an item behind here as well. And it's a Eviolite. Wow, so I love Eviolite. It's a great uh, great item if you want to use a small unevolved Pokemon. It raises their defense and special defense uh, by one stage in this game. So they did nerf it in this game. It used to be 1.5. Uh, but it's not anymore. And do we have anything else here? Let's break out the scout land and just go for a quick sniff. Uh, there's nothing here, so let's go straight to that memorial hill. Pretty sure it's down there, but let's go versus this trainer quickly, a fisherman. I keep repeating fair battles with Pokemon and trainers. What kind of person is a fisherman? So challenged by Fisherman Mike and he's going to be sending out a Chinchow. And I'm gonna send out my fish. So it's a battle of the fishermen and unfortunately my fish has no attack so I do need to switch out and I'm going to switch out into my Dartrix because I think uh, Chin Chows have Volt Absorb so I can't hit it with electric attack. So he's going to go for a Confuse Ray. And like I said before in the previous video, uh, Confusion was also nerfed. So, but of course I still get hit. So confusion isn't no longer 50-50. I think it's about a 30% chance uh, now that you'll hit yourself in confusion. So let's go for another razor leaf if we can. And luckily I do land it this time. So Phoebus has grown level 22 and still has a Lunar attack. Growlithe is level 26. So the Pokemon are actually getting stronger now. They're starting to slowly catch up, which is good. 
Uh, so it's not this way, I'm assuming it will be this way over here. Right, let's, let's get off this course because it's a bit hard to control. So this looks like another cemetery. And there's a trainer over here, there's a trainer everywhere. Uh, I thought I'd have a little gander at the rules of life, but there's one thing to do first, which is obviously a Pokemon battle. So he's gonna send out a Umbreon, which is very unexpected. That is my favorite evolution. I absolutely love Umbreon. So let's switch out into probably my Fluffy. So luckily it is a very low level Umbreon, so it shouldn't have too many uh, attacks to hit me with. Uh, it does go for another Confuse Ray. <coughs> Excuse me. So I do break it and I do land the Charge Beam. And that was surprisingly a critical hit. So I do know Umbreon's a very uh, bulky in special defense. And I do get off the static, which is good. So that should allow me to outspeed now. Uh, Synchronize kicks in, but obviously you can't paralyze a electric type. So I really need a special attack raise. And I do get it, which is good. So he's just going to keep going for a quick attack anyway, he doesn't care if he's parried. to use this full restore so you know what I do like that I like the difficulty of this game and I still haven't gotten a, another special attack rise and at this point he's probably going to take out my fluffy I do get the static off again So there we are, we finally get a special attack. So he does get the full parrot finally. And one more is going to take it out if I don't get critted by a quick attack. And luckily he does get fully parried. And he actually avoids it, so story of my life. I do outspeed this time, and that's enough to take out the other one. So that was pretty good experience actually. And Dartrix is level 30. <coughs> Ooh, that was a lot of Poke Dollars as well. That's exactly what I need right now. So let's go and fight this little kid over here that's hanging around in the cemetery by himself. So you were challenged by preschooler Liam. So he's gonna send out a Jigglypuff. So let's go and send out my Growlithe. <coughs> It's actually rocking the competitive ability. And it's gonna go for a disable, but I haven't used a move yet. I'm gonna go straight for the fire thing. And 
and it's going to disable it. So I'm just going to go and use a takedown now, just finish it off. So he's going to send out his Lenium, and unfortunately my uh, Fire Fang is still disabled. So I will have to go for a takedown. Let's go pick up this item right here. And it's a cleanse tag. There's nothing else up here. Let's go fight that little uh, old lady up there. Which Pokemon do you think is fitting with the grave? Let's battle. Perhaps you'll figure it out. Well, I'll probably answer that question with Ghost Pipe Pokemon. So you were challenged by Madame Say Sayuri. And let's see what she sends out. So she sends out a Comfy. And I think that is a Fairy and Grass type from memory. I'm not too sure. But let's go ahead and send out anyway the Growlithe. So I avoid the kiss, the kiss of death, and she's gonna try again. Luckily I avoid it. Go for the fire thing. And actually it seems like it's only a fairy type because that was a, net, a neutral damage. So it does look like a grass type, but I guess it's just a pure fairy. So level 23 Phoebus and still no attack and Flaffy wants to learn Electro Ball but I'm actually not going to learn that because uh, it's not the best move for a Flaffy Electro Ball works good if you're faster than a Pokemon Flaffy's not very fast alright and we've got a looks like a Team Skull but it's not it's a Punk Girl So you were challenged by Punk Girl Melissa. And she's sending out a Area Ghost, one of my favorite Pokemons. I do love spiders. So let's go ahead and switch back into the Growlithe. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to explore this area a little more, see if there's any other items, which there is here, and I'm probably going to meet uh, Olivia in the next episode, I don't want to drag out the episodes anymore because I don't want them to get deleted. Uh, unfortunately I run into Team Skull, so scratch what I just said, let's continue on with this journey and I'll finish it after this. 
So I guess they still are up to their old shenanigans uh, from Team Rocket trying to steal Slowpoke's tail. Fight me instead, child, and root, uh, route these team score ruffians. I will bestow honor upon thee if you do. I don't know why you're talking like that. Are you ready? Because I was born ready, yo. Alright, so it looks like we've got a battle with Team uh, Skull. So we're sending out a, a Lola Raticate with those fat cheeks. I think this Raticate has overindulged himself. So let's go switch out into... Probably my Growlithe, just to get the Intimidate off. So I don't know how I avoided the bite. I'm pretty sure that's a 100% accurate move. But I'm going to go for a Reversal anyway. He's going to go for a Hyper Fang and actually take out my Growlithe. So let's go ahead and send out the Dartrix. So I'm going to actually uh, use a revive on my Growlithe so it doesn't miss out on any XP. Finish him off with a Shadow Claw. And it doesn't affect it, so that was my bad. I forgot he's actually a normal and dark type, so I don't know what I was thinking. Let's go for a pluck. I just embarrassed myself. So that chunk eradicate goes down. That loss was pathetic, your moves were so kinetic, spinning out bars, we don't need this Pokemon anyway, take it then, good luck and good riddance. Thanks kid. Yes indeed, you are a trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer, I am deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly outstanding. Once you have finished your grand tile, come to Hano Grand Resort and I'll take you to see a wondrous place. Thanks for helping us out, I really owe you. I'm so glad there are nice young trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenges. Alright guys, that's me done. I'm gonna save the uh, save the game and end the episode there. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next upload.